little trout here. Gonna just see if I can. Oh. Got him! Oh, yeah! Oh, finally! Ooh! Right. Sight fishing, man. Sight fishing. Hey everyone, welcome to Wild with Cyril. If you clicked on this video, just had a fish jump over there. I'm guessing you're wondering how it is you go and catch and cook your first fish, particularly if you live in the UK. There's been a big uptake in fishing, thanks to certain unprecedented events that have just been happening across the entire world. And you know, maybe you want to, you know, catch and cook a meal for your family, for your significant other, and you're sort of um, curious about how to get started, what you need to do. Uh, I'm gonna, tell you straight off the simplest easiest way to catch and cook your very first fish is to book a mackerel charter to drive you out in their boat give you a rod have you lower your rod and the bait on the end of it off the side of the boat hook into a load of mackerel and then reel it up and hey ho you caught yourself some mackerel it's a very effective method it's something i've done myself it's pretty good fun only thing about it really is that it's kind of um not really you who's really doing the fishing it's basically the guys who run the charter they drive you out the boat they give you the rod they tell you what to do and you know you drop the bait down you get your mackerel put it in hey ho you've got yourself a fish and you can clean it up whatever if you're looking for a more you know DIY approach to catching and cooking your own fish there are a couple of other options worth considering it's worth remembering in the UK the majority of our fishing is basically um, more fish yeah, you basically have to put it back. What venues are there in the UK that do offer catch and keep and, you know, are basically accessible to most people? The venue you're most likely to be able to catch and cook a fish from is a stock and take trout fishery. There are many, many different stock and put trout fisheries across the UK. They will stock in rainbow trout that are grown in fish farms and it's your job as an angler to take them out. Most of these venues are strictly fly only, which basically means that you need to learn to cast a fly rod. Casting a fly rod is pretty tricky. If you can, get a, at least one lesson by a qualified instructor to teach you how to do it. Only really one cast you need to learn and a lot of times you don't actually need to cast your rod that far. For instance, I can see a fish swimming around just over there, probably about three meters from the bank. So I'm going to take you through it. You've got a fly rod, put your line through the rings, you have your fly line, which is what allows you to cast with a fly rod. Then you have your leader. I typically use five pound, six pound fluorocarbon leader. You know, you can just buy a beginner's basic, you know, fly rod package. It'll last you at least one fish. I'm gonna say today is gonna be a dry fly day. There's a million different types of fly. Uh, there's submerged, there's sinking, there's nymphs, there's, you know, lure type flies, you know. We're basically going to do dry fly. What a dry fly is, basically a fly that sits on the surface of the water through surface tension and the trout will come up when it sees it and bite it. Oftentimes, because the fish are swimming so close to the bank, you don't actually really need to cast that far. This is your stocked trout pond. There are hundreds of types of ponds of, like this across the country. Most will be stocked with rainbows. You might be good just uh, putting a dry fly out near the bank. Another thing you're gonna need, guys, is a net. One thing that really helps guys is having a pair of these Polaroid glasses of times you can see a fish and put your fly right in front of it and it will take it. If you just get the fly out and be patient, you should catch a fish. Now, I might not catch on a dry fly, but I might switch over to a nymph and catch submerged beneath the surface. So it will take a bit of time to get used to casting a fly rod, but you don't have to be super good at it to catch a fish. Uh. I don't know if you can see that fish. He's putting the dry fly right on top of him and he's absolutely ignoring it. Doesn't look very healthy. He looks almost like he's albino. How about this fish? I don't know luck either. So you see there are 
fish cruising around. They're not interested in the dry fly though, so I think I'm gonna try a different tactic. I've had fish literally cruising about three feet in front of me, and I've put a dry fly right in front of the noses, and they've shown no interest, which basically suggests to me that I need to change tactics. So, there's the camera. Yep, yeah, this here is the pheasant's tail nymph. This is going to sink beneath the surface and hopefully arouse the predatory response in our quarry. It's worth remembering guys, trout are basically predators. For uh, reference, the rod I cast with is a nine foot, five weight rod. Pretty good all rounder for trout fishing. The issue is, guys, it's the middle of July. The water temperature tends to increase to very uncomfortable levels for the trout. And so they just become so much less eager to feed or do anything. Hey all. So um, I've had no luck with this lake. Well, apart from one bite, apart from one bite, which I subsequently asked, I've had no luck with this lake. So um, I'm gonna move down to a lake just next to us. I've been told it's pretty good. You just gotta keep changing things up. I'm not getting any, I'm not getting anything here. So uh, hopefully I'll get something down there. Got a trout here. Can I just see if I can flick out? Oh, got him! Oh yeah! Oh finally! Ooh! Right. Sight fishing, man. Sight fishing. Woo! Ah, that took a while. Ah, that was a, a long time coming, guys. Yeah. Right, well, this guy does not look in fantastic condition. None of them have been looking in fantastic condition so far. Ah. Oh. All right, let's get him in the net. Okay. Okay. Uh, and in he goes. Whoa. Holy moly. Ah. Well, guys, that took about six hours, but we did it. Okay, you got a trout on the bank. We dispatch them as quickly and humanely as possible. Oh my God, flopping around like anything. All right, so what you do, you can see this, you got the priest here, you lift up and you strike firm and hard. All right guys, this is our trout. I've got him on the plastic bag because I don't want his scales to go all on my chopping board. Little pro tip, trout scales are pretty much impossible to get off any wooden chopping board. I am going to make an incision here with the knife, tray all the way up the trout with the knife, so I open his belly up. After that, I'll reach inside, basically yank out all the guts and stuff that we don't want to eat. And then I'm going to wrap this guy in tin foil and uh, put him in the oven. So what I've done, I've just taken all the guts out. Look inside a trout, you'll notice there's this big, thick black line in the inside of it. If you just scrape that out with your fingernail, that's the bloodline. You don't want to eat that. 
I mean, it won't kill you, but it's not very nice, so you just scrape it out, and then you've got a uh, nice clean trout. I've just covered him in uh, salt and pepper, I've wrapped him up in tinfoil as well, and uh, I'm uh, about to put him in the oven. You don't need to scale them, you can just do it super simple like this. I'm going to set a timer for 45 minutes. 45 minutes, 200 degrees fan oven, 200 degrees Celsius, don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. You can have um, potatoes, bread, whatever you want with him. This is a trout. All cooked up. Looks pretty good actually. Yep, let's see if this is good to eat. Uh, I'm gonna say that's good. Tastes okay. Right, well, time to eat it up. Right, well, um, I know I rather breezed over the whole um, cooking section, but I kind of feel that, you know, there's plenty of tutorials on how to gut a fish. There's, you know, plenty of recipes for how to cook a trout, you know. I just wanted to show you that, you know, it's pretty easy, it's pretty simple. Basically, um, what I did today, you can do a rainbow trout fishery, you know, stillwater rainbow trout fishery over the whole country, you know. There is hundreds of them about. Average going rate for a sort of a day ticket is 25 quid to 30 quid, about that price range. The ones I fished at were about typical of the ones that you'd fish at anywhere in the country. I just wanted to show you that, you know, it's possible. It's not, you know, rocket science. All right, guys, well, um, hope you enjoy the video. Give it a like if you like it. Subscribe if you want to see more content. Really helps me out, guys, if you subscribe. All right, everyone. Thanks for joining me. Take care.